Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new video on the YouTube channel of Darts Actueel. Um, today we have uh, a, a new PDC tour card holder. It's Jack Main. Uh, Jack, congrats on your uh, on your win of of, uh, of a tour card. How does it feel to be a PDC tour card holder? And yeah, it's sunken really. Like as I say, it's all hit pretty quick. Um, over the moon with it, obviously, but as I say, it's still really sunk in. So I just imagine it will end over the next couple of days. So mm -hmm. you are certainly one of the surprises of uh, the UK school Q school. Um, you did show your level, uh, though. Um, yeah, I mean, some people may not know you. Can you just introduce yourself a little? What's your age? What what you're what you're doing in your in your free time, job, stuff like that? Yeah, I'm a 24 year old. Um, started darts about four years ago now. Uh, originally a bricklayer and uh, used to play football at a decent standard. But yeah, then I started playing darts after a knee injury and yeah, here I am now, four years down the line. <laughs> here you are now, within four years, a PDC tour card holder. Could you ever expect something like that to be happening? No, not at all. Like I say, from, from playing football and having an injury that stopped me playing to playing darts, which didn't really pick up a dart until I was 17 so it's a bit it's a bit of a wild journey to now to say that I've um, got my tour card is quite amazing really it really is uh, let's go to uh, your Q school days um you had to start in in the first stage in the uh, 1A group um you you ended on the place uh, 29 um yeah, what was it hard or or stressful to come through that first stage of of uh, Q school yeah, I think everyone was in the same boat as myself. Like none of us played proper darts in front of each other or someone on the hockey for what since pandemic start. We obviously mm -hmm. had the bad development tour and the last challenge tour back in September and October, but then we had nothing. So I think everyone came into it the same as I did really. But everyone took their different routes going playing online tournaments or just practicing or not doing anything at all, obviously not knowing what was going to go on this year. But yeah, I think we're all in the same boat in the end, but it's great to be able to play in the first stage because then it gives me, well, I felt like it gave me a little bit of the edge in the last, in the final stages because I've already played. So yeah, you, you take the positives away from everything, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you played in uh, Q School before. Um... What did you think of the new format with that first stage and the final stage? Did you do you think it's something the PDC should keep for next year's? Yeah, personally, I think I think it worked really well. Like it filters out some players that can actually be there for a jolly up, or you got the players that actually want to go and pursue a career. So um, yeah, I think that that does work. Um, I do. Yeah, I also think the days are better as well because you know that you're straight into the tournament and. You ain't waiting around four or five hours for your first game. So I, mm -hmm. it, there's pros and cons to it all. I've seen a lot of um, positives around it and I personally, I'm all for it. But as I say, that's PDC's decision to make going forward. True. Well, it worked out for you. So uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's great. Um, let's go to uh, yeah the, the final stage. Um, well, you were in, in Group 1A, so you had a, a couple of days break. Was it something that you were you know, happy about just a little break before the, the, the final stage or? Yeah, I think the break done me a world of good. I, um, obviously, after the last day of the 1A, I then come home for a day and a half before I had to go back anyway to have my COVID test and that. So, yeah, I think that done me a world of good. I've managed to come home, have a rest, completely rest up and recoup and go again. So, for, for others, it may not have done them any good, but for myself, it done me a world of good. So, mm hmm well, it definitely showed on the first day. You uh, got into the final by defeating players uh, like former tour card holders like uh, uh, Dave Pellet, Stevenson, Eskew, uh, Worsley I have on my list over here. Um, unfortunately, you lost the final against uh, Kirk Shepard, 6-1. to one. Um, But then again, you made a lot of points that day. Uh, was it something that, um, you know, uh, g gave you a little less stress for, for the for the days after it on, on Q school you would play a little more freely or yeah the first day I was um I, I, I say I surprised myself but I know mm -hmm. I know what I'm off on the board so having Dave Pallet on the first game and 
knowing that I've had to, I've got to hit the ground running. If if not, I'm out on the first round with no points. So, yeah, I think that done me a world of good going going the distance to the final. And then I think the nerves got to me more than anything in the final. But yeah, at reaching the final and going into the second day when I I looked at my board and got couldn't have asked for a worse one at the time. So um, yeah, I was, I didn't know at the time that I was on well didn't need that many more points because so obviously it was all new to everyone so but then I played Scott Mitchell and had 103 average and I thought yeah <laughs> I'm still in this so yeah I, there's a few things going around in the head I was I was on a free run to a certain extent and then like I said I was playing under no pressure really and once I knew going into the third day that I pretty much secured it I was, I was again just playing all freely so yeah, you got into the the quarter the quarter finals on uh, the third day again. A great result, and you uh, indeed secured your your tour card already through the order of merit. Um, yeah, how did you did you um, knew you already had won a tour card on this, or did did the PC say something, or just some friends uh, message you, or or what? Yeah, uh, that was a funny one, really. Like I wanted to win it outright on the um, on the third day, but I fell short against um, Martin unfortunately but I, I obviously I'll keep tracks on the darts ranking and I, I was looking every day to see where I was at and trying to work out myself how many points I needed which at the time I was waiting for that confirmation it was, all, it was pretty much stonewall and um, once it co got confirmed on Twitter and Facebook I was, I was over the moon with it and I was trying to make a decision whether to go, go and play the last day or not which I decided to obviously pull out so yeah. Yeah. What made you decide to uh, not play that last day? To obviously, the reason is is fine. Um, but you were allowed to to just play there and to to get a little more experience, I guess, for the for the super series. Yeah, people didn't know this. I um I went down to the car. I I, I went down to the car to put my all my stuff, luggage and all that, in the car to go home. And um, I actually had a leak on my car, so I had that playing oh. back of my mind, knowing that of uh got to go to Bolton on Wednesday so um that kind of made my decision up especially knowing that I've already got my tour card and then um I actually went and signed in to started having a practice on the, in the event and then um I, I just thought well, no I don't, if if I ruin someone else's chances to get a tour card when I was already secured it I felt quite bad so I just thought if I go home get my car sorted I'll be ready for the pro tour so that, that was my thinking behind it Mm, well, that's an interesting story, but um, well, it's it, it, it's reasonable to not play in a tournament. You're you know um, you don't have to uh, you yeah. know do something, and so yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, now you're on the tour. You um, I read online that you're like a, a prodigy of Darren Webster. Um, is he someone who will show you around the tour on on Thursday and show you like oh this is how it's done and you have to do this and sign in over here or how does it work? Oh, um, as I say, I, I started, I, I was practicing for Darren, with Darren for two years and the past year and a little bit of, of me and him kind of faded away. So I can't thank him enough for what obviously he's helped me with. I'd, would I have come this far without his help? That's questionable. I'd, 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 part of me says, thinks I doubt it. But um, yeah, he showed me the ropes and when I was with him, I was, able to go to a pro tour with him when he won it in Barnsley I was able to go to the world twice with him so oh. I, I kind of got the feel of it and that's what got got the buzz for myself to go and do it but um yeah I'll just, I'll just have to see when I get there it's just I'm I'm the sort of person that like to keep myself to myself and um, like I say it's a single man sport so you, mm -hmm. you can't work with anyone else and what they're doing you've got to find what's right for you and hit the ground running from there so yeah you, yeah, it's one of them. I have to wait until I get there. <laughs> exactly. Well, at least you already know some people. So if you need help, you can always uh, ask them. Um, yeah, as you said, um, when you introduce yourself, you're just a 24, 24 year old player. Um, we've seen players like uh, Adam Gavla, Keen Barry, uh, Lewis Williams, also young players uh, winning their tour card. Do you feel like you're part of some kind of a turning point with? younger darts players getting on the tour and uh, yeah 
Uh, it's hard to say, really. Like I say, the, the young Gordons have got such big opportunities now, especially with their um, JDC. You've got the development tour. You've got the mad dart system. You, you've got... The, it's all built up for the youngsters to come through the ranks now. You know, um, obviously... It's now become a well-known sport. There's, it's life change. It can be life changing if you want to make it. So, yeah, you, I, in a sense, yeah. But it's a it's a sport for any ages. Like I say, you see, you see players at 60, 70 play it. So it's it's for anyone. I, I personally think is is how much you want to put into it and conduct yourself and dedicate yourself to the actual sport. So yeah, it's it is good for the youngsters to come through. Like I say, you're seeing it time and time again now on. You, there's plenty of the youngsters that can throw darts. It's um, and the paths are there for them if they want to take it. So, um, yeah, all right. You have your tour card now for two years, as you said. It was a surprise. You probably had before Q school. You already had some, maybe some schedule in your mind. Oh, I'm I'm going to do this and within uh, two years. But now, I mean, you're you you have a totally different schedule now. Two years of playing pro tour darts. Um. Yeah, what what are your goals? What do you want to achieve on on the the pro tour? As I always said, I set myself a five year goal, um, which I managed to get done in three and a half years. So I started that one. So I'm now rerouting myself on the pro tour and recreating my goals. Like I say, hey, by the end of the year, I want to be. I want to know. Well, <laughs> I'd like to say the top sixty four in my first year. Where, but it's all the learning for my for myself in the first year and then the second year I just want to re regain my tour card and see where I'm at then like and then we'll make some more steps then so it, like I ain't getting too ahead of myself and I've got a lot of work to do I've got a lot of practice to do I've got a lot of learning to do still I'm still basically a novice of the game so um yeah I just I don't want to uh, put too much pressure on myself on the first mm -hmm. year and then we'll reevaluate it after the after the first year, see where I'm ranked and where I'm at. So, yeah, that's basically all I can say on that man. Yeah, those those are great uh, thoughts. So, yeah, coming up are the uh, the Super Series, basically, for Players' Championship tournaments. Um, are you ready to to shine on your uh, first days as a tour card holder? Yeah, like I say, I'm not, I'm not a known at all. So, I, I, I'm going into that with, without anyone really knowing anything on me. So, I feel like the pressure and pressure isn't really there. Um, I'd, I'm excited for it, don't get me wrong, but I just want to make a good impression of myself and um, show what I can, I can actually do. I've done it time and time behind closed doors now. It's time to step up and actually do it properly with the with the pros. So, yeah, it's, it's more exciting more than anything. And after the first day, I'm sure that I'll see where I'm at then. Well, I'm, I'm sure you will surprise the people over there as well. Um, thank you for this little interview, Jack. Congrats again for uh, winning your tour, uh, your tour card. And uh, yeah, good luck at the at your next two years as a PDC tour card holder. Cheers. Thank you. Appreciate it.